Prince Harry, Prince Harry claimed that the tabloid press always became involved in his relationships in an attempt to ruin them. Prince Harry said that UK's tabloid press was always third party in his relationships, court documents revealed. The Duke of Sussex said that he had always tried to be the best partner he could be but every woman has her limit, claiming that the tabloid press always became involved in his relationships in an attempt to ruin them. Whenever I have been in a relationship, I have always tried to be the best partner that I possibly could, but every woman has her limit. Unfortunately, they are not just in a relationship with me but with the entire tabloid press as a third party. At no point did I have a girlfriend or a relationship with anyone without the tabloids getting involved and ultimately ruining it, or trying to ruin it, using whatever unlawful means at their disposal, Prince Harry said in a witness statement. Prince Harry also said that the tabloid press felt like it owned him, saying, Despite the common misconception, I was no more than 5% funded by the taxpayer while I was a working royal in the UK, yet it felt as though the tabloid press thought that they owned me absolutely, and deserved to know everything there is to know about me, my life, my movements and the lives of those people who came into my orbit. Casting him as a thicko and a cheat the press played up headlines against him, he claimed, saying, as a teenager and in my early twenties, I ended up feeling as though I was playing up to a lot of the headlines and stereotypes that they wanted to place upon me. It was a downward spiral, whereby the tabloids would constantly try and coax me, a damaged young man, into doing something stupid that would make a good story and sell lots of newspapers. Looking back on it now, such behavior on their part is utterly vile. He Duke of Sussex is happily married to Meghan Markle with the couple sharing two children together, Archie, three, and baby Lilibet, one. And since the release of Prince Harry's explosive new memoir, Spare, the royal has shared a candid insight into his romantic past. Prior to finding love with Meghan, Prince Harry was previously linked to the likes of Cressida Bonus, Caroline Flack, and Chelsea Davy. If you've forgotten the many names romantically linked to Harry, then watch this video to refresh your memory. The Lovebirds started dating in 2004 after crossing paths in Cape Town during Prince Harry's gap year. Their romance continued to blossom under the interest of the public, with Chelsea attending Prince Charles' 68th birthday and even meeting the late Queen at a society wedding. However, after an on-off romance, things sadly came to an end in 2011 after Chelsea struggled with being in the royal spotlight. Speaking to the Times, Chelsea admitted she couldn't cope with the intense scrutiny their romance received. It was so forlorn, crazy and scary and uncomfortable, she explained. I found it very difficult when it was bad. I couldn't cope. I was trying to be a normal kid, and it was horrible. Chelsea also revealed that she retreated to her native Zimbabwe to handle the breakup in 2010, adding, it was nuts. That's also why I wanted to go back to Africa. Now it's calm, it's fine. Speaking about why their romance fizzled out, Harry penned in his memoir, I cherished Chelsea's carefree and authentic spirit. She never worried about what other people thought. She wore short skirts and high boots, danced with abandon, drank as much tequila as I did, and I sureized all those things about her. But I couldn't help worrying how Granny might feel about them. He added, and the last thing I wanted was for Chelsea to change and accommodate them. I, didn't, know if Chelsea could handle it. It's calm, it's fine. 
Speaking about why their romance fizzled out, Harry penned in his memoir, I cherished Chelsea's carefree and authentic spirit. She never worried about what other people thought. She wore short skirts and high boots, danced with abandon, drank as much tequila as I did, and I sureized all those things about her. But I couldn't help worrying how Granny might feel about them. He added, and the last thing I wanted was for Chelsea to change and accommodate them. I, didn't, know if Chelsea could handle it.